amid an intensifying blame game over the World Health Organization's handling of the coronavirus pandemic, China's leader Xi Jinping announced a $2 billion funding package to help tackle the outbreak as he spoke at the organization's 73rd General Assembly on Monday. China supports the idea of a global review of the response to COVID-19 after it is brought under control. This should be led by the WHO and conducted in an impartial manner, she said, speaking via a video link. Xi's statement came as more than 100 health ministers from around the world prepared to call for an independent evaluation of the WHO's handling of the virus. It was not clear if Xi's comments indicated that China would support this measure. The pandemic, which has killed more than 300,000 people worldwide, has triggered a drastic escalation in tension between the United States and China. The WHO has also faced criticism, with some observers saying the agency was at least far too credulous in believing Beijing's reassurances, which it then amplified uncritically to the wider world. Last month, President Donald Trump moved to withdraw U.S. funding from the organization, accusing it of being too close to Beijing, not sharing information in a timely manner and covering up for its mistakes. The move has been met with severe criticism at home and abroad, as WHO officials denied the claims. The U.S. has yet to confirm if it's planning to attend the assembly. NBC News has reached out to the State Department and U.S. Department of Health and Human Services for comment, but has not heard back. Download the NBC News app for full coverage and alerts about the coronavirus outbreak. In his statement, she reiterated Beijing's official line that China acted with transparency and shared information about the outbreak, which is believed to have originated in the country's northern Hubei province, in a timely fashion. President Trump has been Beijing's chief accuser, but he is not the only one to have alleged that Chinese officials covered up the virus during its early stages and exacerbated its spread into a pandemic. The WHO has also faced criticism, with some observers saying the agency was at least far too credulous in believing Beijing's reassurances, which it then amplified uncritically to the wider world. The WHO's Director General, Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, has also been under scrutiny after he heaped praise on Beijing's coronavirus response. The WHO Assembly, being held virtually for the first time, is officially focused on international cooperation on vaccines, treatments and testing to fight the virus. In his opening address, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres called for unity between nations fighting the pandemic as he opened the assembly, saying COVID-19 must be a wake-up call, and a historic opportunity to step up research and reduce inequality in access to medical care. Either we stand together or we fall apart, Guterres said. Ahead of the meeting, WHO's COVID-19 special envoy, David Navarro, said he hoped world leaders will delay criticism of each other's handling of the crisis until after the pandemic is under control. He also warned that without a unified global plan, the outbreak will only get worse. This virus will just come back, Navarro told NBC News. It will come back very loudly, roaring, and it will cause further distress.